Hi everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back to my channel. Today I was just kind of having fun. Um, I wanted to try this new foundation by Dior. It is the Undercover Foundation and this is in the shade 35. And I just wanted to try it out and see how it goes. And I just got a sample. I didn't buy the, the bottle itself. And I also did like a tutorial on this look. It's going to be like my first voiceover. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see. So I was just having fun. And if you wanted to see how I came up with this look, please keep watching. All right, first I put regular first aid tape on my face to kind of give my eyeshadow a sharp edge. And I sure hope that they're even, we'll see. The eyeshadow palette that I'll be using is by Marc Jacobs. It is their Iconic palette that I bought after Christmas in the Sephora sale. Really like the colors. First I'm going to prime my eyelid with the Benefit Stay Don't Stray and then I'll use my finger to blend it out. Then I'll take this first color here to set my primer. I find that that works well. It's easy to blend the colors, different colors on your eyelid. Then I'll take this transition shade, real pretty, neutral taupe and I'll use my fluffy brush by Morphe. I'll list everything down below for you guys. And I'll start at the outer corner and I'll go above my crease for that transition look. Then I'll go in with this cranberry shade. It's real pretty. I love reds. Then I'll use my Wayne Goss number 18 brush. It's very pigmented. Then tap off the excess. excess and I'll put it in the corner of my lid and I'll just pack it on right there and then I'll start blending it out and I like to do it right below my transition color in my crease and blend it all out and I'll bring whatever's left on my brush to the inside of the corner of my eye but I still want to concentrate the color on the corner of my eye and I'll just keep building the color up these colors are very blendable and buildable. I really like this palette. Then I'm going in with my first brush with the transition color and just blend that out so there'll be no harsh lines with the red color. Then I'm going into this pretty sparkly pink shadow and I'm going to put that on my eyelid. I'm going to use a flat shader brush by Sigma and when I did that I noticed that you can still see my eyelid color so then I decided let me try it with my finger to pack it on and that still didn't help so then I decided well let me go ahead and use the cranberry color to use that as a base and then I'll put the pretty sparkly pink shade on top of that I'll put that on later Alright, then I wanted to add some dimension to my eyes, so I'm using this pretty warm neutral dark brown using the Wayne Goss number 20 brush. It's a little bit more tapered, and I'll just put that color right on the outer V of my eye. And I'll just blend that all together. It's a real pretty warm brown. Not bad. Then I went in with my finger with the pink shimmer shade and I find that that was better. Alright, here is the Tom Ford eye defining pen and I'm going to try to wing out my eyeliner. Yes, I'm going to try to do that. I'm a little nervous about it but I'm just glad that I have the tape to guide me. That The tape really did help with that. Still a little nerve-wracking there because you can still make a mistake from on the top side of the eyeliner. <laughs> Just take a deep breath, breathe, and you got this. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, moment of truth to see how it works, how it looks. Gently taking the tape off, and I wanted to show you the fallout from the eyeshadow. There was a lot of fallout. Then I took a beauty wipe and I just wiped off the fallout that was on my cheeks.
Then I did this off camera. I did my eyebrows with the Benefit Precise Lane My Brow in the shade number four. And voila, they're done. Then I'll use my favorite primer, and it's by Guerlain, the Laura Radiance Primer. And I'll just pat that on my face, put that on my face. And of course, I've got to correct my skin my dark circles and my spots, and I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and of course the shade Orange. And just put that underneath my eye and on my cheeks and above my lip. And then I'll take my Dampen Beauty Blender and I'll blend that all out. And this is the first time I've using this foundation. It is by Dior. It is their undercover, I believe, long wear foundation in the shade 35. I like the smell. It smells like cucumbers. It's the first time I've used this foundation. Using my Sigma Kabuki brush, I'm going to blend this out. And typically, I don't like to put foundation underneath my eye. Since I put my corrector and I'm going to put concealer and set it with powder, that's just going to be too much product underneath my eyes. It did blend out very well, very well. And it is light on me, but I figured I'm going to put uh, contour and bronze it up. Hopefully that might darken it up a little bit. There it is, close up of me. Then I'm going to put some concealer underneath my eye, and I thought I did this on camera, but I didn't. And I'm using the Naked Skin by Urban Decay in the shade Light Neutral, and blend it out with a Dampened Beauty Blender. Then setting it with the Peach Perfect Setting Powder by Too Faced. I really like this powder. Then I'm using this tapered brush by Sigma and just smoking out my lower lash line with the same cranberry shade. I'm going to contour my face using the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in the shade Golden Almond. I'll put that on my cheeks and on my nose to try to make my nose skinnier. <laughs> and on my forehead and jowls. And I'll blend that out using the Sephora Blending Blush Brush. Just blend, blend, blend. Then I'm going to use the bronzer by La Mer with my Tom Ford bronzing brush. And I really like this brush. I really like this brush. I like the shape of it. I like how it blends the product on my face. I really like this brush. All right. And for blush, I'm going to use my favorite by Chanel. It is the number 260 using the Real Techniques Blush Brush. Then I'm going to use this pencil by Marc Jacobs to line my lower lash line and my water line. And I'm going to use two mascaras. I know that seems excessive, but I love my mascara. And I'm going to go in with my Chantecai first. Sorry, you could see the reflection on the mirror. And then I will do my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I love these two mascaras together. It really does build up the volume to my lashes. All right, next I'm going to set my face with powder by La Mer. I love this powder. It's a pressed powder using my powder brush by Sigma. Then I'm going to try to do something with my hair. It's going to be one of those days, a bad hair day. Oh well. All right, my hair went straight today. Oh well, what are we going to do? For my lips, I decided to go nude, and I'm using Spice by MAC for my lip liner, and this lipstick also by MAC, it's called Spirit. And then I put this lip, lip gloss on by Anastasia Beverly Hills called Bronze, and that is the finished look. And I think the color is not so bad, I'll try to work with it. Again, I will use it for several, several times and give a re review of it later. All right, and this is the finished look right here. And again, this is just, I'm just having fun. Uh, we'll see how my first voiceover goes. If not, at least I tried, <laughs> right? <laughs> but again, you know, my hair, I didn't do anything with my hair, but I'm gonna try it and see how it works and see how it wears and see if it is long wearing. And I'll probably do like a review for it in another video. Again, hit the subscribe button if you like to see more videos like this and please give it a thumbs up. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.